Today's lesson is topic 13, lesson 1. Fractions as multiples of unit fractions. Today's objective is, I will use unit fractions and multiplication to describe fractions that are multiples of the unit fractions. Our problem we're going to focus on today is this one. Kara and Sarah were working on their math homework. Kara had written a description of three-fourths as one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. Sarah looked at it and said, I think you could use multiplication there. Remember how we learned that two plus two plus two equals two times three? Wouldn't it make sense that one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth is equal to three times one-fourth? What do you think about Sarah's observation? When we're looking at this, I see repeated addition used right here. Remember that repeated addition is the same thing as multiplication. 2 is being added together 3 times, therefore the multiplication problem would be 2 times 3. So Sarah says that 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is repeated addition. Therefore, it has to make sense that if you add them all together, it would be 3 times 1 fourth, ultimately giving you the same answer of 3 fourths. So I have one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-fourth being added together three different times. Kara ultimately said the same thing. She said that one-fourth and one-fourth and one-fourth equals three-fourths because she looked at her fraction tiles like this, with each one being a different one. So one-fourth, and then this whole part would have been two-fourths, then whole part shaded would have been three-fourths, still equals three times one-fourth. Vocabulary you need to focus on today is unit fraction. A unit fraction is a fraction that describes one part of the whole. Unit fractions always have a numerator of one. For example, right here, one-fifth would be the unit fraction to describe a pizza cut into five pieces really poorly cut pizza over here. There you go. All right. So the top number is my numerator. And my bottom number is my denominator. Go ahead and include this in your notes in case you have forgotten. We're going to try a couple of these together to focus on what the unit fraction would be and what the multiplication problem would be. So I'm looking on this first one right here, number one, I'm looking to find out what I'm going to multiply in order to solve this one. The unit fraction is right here. Remember, the unit fraction is one-third. So of two-thirds, the unit fraction or one part of that whole would be one-third. In order to get two-thirds, I would have to multiply one-third times 2. So let's take a look. If I had 1 third and 1 third and 1 third, in order to get 2 thirds out of that, I would need 1 and 2. 2 times 1 third. Looking at number 2, my denominator shows me how I will break it up to find out my unit fraction. There are a total of 6 parts for this particular shape. In order to find out how many parts I have, I have 5. I have five parts that would have been shaded in. So one, two, three, four, five out of a six total. Six tells me how many parts it's separated into. The unit fraction of five, six, remember numerator always has a one. The denominator always is going to tell me what goes right here. In order to find 5, 6, each one of these would be 1, 6. So I would multiply 1, 6 times 5. Looking at 3 halves, which is an improper fraction because my numerator is bigger than my denominator, I can still find my unit fraction of this one because my denominator is 2. This has to be 2. My numerator always has to be 1. Okay, so the unit fraction of 3 halves would be 1 half. In order to find out what three halves would be as a multiplication problem, I again look at my numerator on this side. I would multiply three times one half to give me three halves. Try six fifths equals blank times one fifth. What would you have to multiply times one fifth, which is my unit fraction, to find 
six fifths. Again, you look to my numerator. I would multiply one fifth times six to give me six fifths. That is it for today.